Welcome to Gord Field in Detroit Rock, Michigan. Nice town, isn't it, Bricks? Well, by nice, you mean a town that would welcome you by cold cocking in the head with a vacuum cleaner and stealing your luggage in the middle of a motel chicken and throwing you off the bridge into a polluted lake while enjoying your morning walk to the stadium? Then yes, Grim, very nice town. Couldn't be lovelier. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Grim Bay Attackers battle. The Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pop? Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and two. opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. First and ten. run for five yards third down and well good luck nice 
nicely done for a first down. Is that right, Glenn? That penalty makes no sense. And it's something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. <laughs> Third down and never. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Third down and the offense needs a miracle. defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. That's a pass and catch for a new game. Then how is it a pass? Second down and ten. You know this berserk dirty chicken. The defense knocked the pass down and quarterbacks hate that. Third down and ten. Now here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Flimsy Lohan's nose hits a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And he pumps his way out of that. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. covered your ears bricks because that was a sonic blast dirty trick that ball just broke the and he finds open space is running toward the end zone turn on your jets you son of a bitch and it's first and ten Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Ben! You mean aside from driving the ref, kill the quarterback, or actually playing some D? <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. It's 
First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. And that'll be second down and four. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Rem. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Second down and a lot. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third down and long. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. position in football the mighty punter and he put all of his foot into that one he's got the ball now let's see what he does with Pow! with the brain scrambler and it's first and ten Watch out, the ball carrier brought a chain shot to the field.
third down and the punter is warming up. Vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second and three. Third down and five. Talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. 
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Call a timeout to stop the clock. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Can I kill him? And he held on to that one for a first down. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strip tea show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. Second and three. Oh, he's gone berserk. The ball carrier, kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. point it's good the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring First and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The great shoestring tackle. First and ten. And he put on the afterburners 
after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks! I'm surprised no one uses the electric carving knife in here. First and ten. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. First and two. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. If you get one more bullshit pass, you get one more for free! you also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref's dirty trick. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down and, well, good luck. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The 
home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frozen. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. Second down and nine. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a super sonic. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First down and nine. Ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And that'll bring up third and one. Runs it in for the touchdown. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. And he's running like a... And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, 
I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he just slipped away. It's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. Rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for me. You know what? Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Calling a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. <laughs> <laughs> Second down and long. He is fighting for every. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Two minutes remaining in the game. We'll be right back, folks. Jeez, can this game take any longer? I got a date with Hot Wanda after this. Junior, I told you that girl's nothing but trouble. And I don't think that's a mole one I lit either. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Oh, it's a punishing hit. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And that'll be second down and four. Picks 
up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And that'll bring up third and one. And that'll be their final timeout. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks oh big catch big run big touchdown yeah big deal mr meat for brave man with a ball and didn't fall down because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. You can't keep a good mute. Caught for the first down. The Maniacs rule today and take them a big win. It was a brutal battle of attrition, but they come away with a three-point win and are celebrating on the field. Yeah, and giving the ref a few bucks didn't hurt the cause either. Well, it hurt my cause. I a saw buck on this fucking game. The game's most valuable player is about to speak. <laughs> Rim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.